Well, hey everybody, it's Chuck. Well, it's uh, Wednesday, the 2nd of October, the day after my birthday. Thank you all for the uh, shout outs yesterday who <laughs> wished me a happy birthday. I wasn't going to announce it, but my daughter snuck it out there. Uh, in any case, it is 8.30 in the morning and this is my first dedicated unprotected left turn Cybertruck uh, video. I've done a couple of turns um, before, but this is dedicated on the Cybertruck. And I haven't done it at, at this time of day yet. Um, so anyway, let's get going. Pay attention to the road, Chuck. Pay attention to the road. Okay, and it's creeping. God, the creep is aggressive here. Okay, we're clear from the right, not from the left. So it needs to make a nice question mark. And that truck rolled by a nice roller. First one, no traffic. It did have to do a little bit of a pause for that traffic up there. Um, but yeah, that was a nice one. What'd you guys think? I think the question mark on the Cybertruck is amazing. I really wish the Model Y would be doing it. And maybe this is a 12.5.5 thing. Um, okay, let's try another one. Stick with me. All right, here we go, round two. There's our NHTSA stop. And should get a nice creep here. The creep was a little bit more aggressive last time. Traffic is maybe the reason. Okay, we gotta wait for a little bit. Okay, there's a small gap. No, there's not a gap. Don't go, that's a motorcycle. I didn't see the motorcycle either. It, maybe it did. Um, got a car, a couple cars behind me here. It's wide open to the right. Okay, there is a medium gap here on the left. I bet it's gonna go for it. Is it gonna go for this? Oh, it tapped its brakes and decided not to. The Model Y would have gone for that gap. I think the Model Y would have done that. We have a much larger gap coming. Uh, I think it's a good one, but we're going to have to <clears throat> wait in the median from the right if it goes. Okay? It, don't, 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 don't. Ooh, you cannot hesitate. It started creeping. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Okay. It's doing good. I, I, this is a little bit more nerve-wracking than it was on my um, other video. Okay, here's where it's going to go. It's wide open, but it's going to have to wait. And now... Ooh, golly, I, uh, that truck made me disengage. I couldn't see it, and I'm new at this. I wasn't sure if I was up to the line yet or not, and I just wasn't willing to trust it with that truck uh, at the closest point of approach. So I disengaged, but it may have been prematurely, but wow, do I need a little bit more trust here. Um, there's the front, there's the back. I feel like I'm sticking out a little bit, so I'm gonna tap the accelerator just a little bit. Now the left lane is open, so I'm gonna go ahead and go manually here. Oh boy, this is a tight fit, guys. Um, it may have stopped. I wasn't gonna risk it. I, I just didn't know, and it, it felt really, really close. Um, I, I hadn't crossed the line by the time I disengaged it. I just, I, I wasn't gonna to see how far it went. I need a little bit more experience under my belt, as I've been telling y'all. You know, um, whenever you get a new software version, and if this is new to you in the Cybertruck, take it easy. Don't risk your car. Don't trust it. Um, you build up some experience and, and trust in the system. Okay, let's try another one. That was a little nerve wracking. All right, here we go again. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think the traffic is going to be the same on this one, just by the way I looked at it before it came. But let's see, there's, a, there's an aggressive creep. Aggressive creep. Okay, it needs to wait. Okay, this is good. No, we got a good slug of traffic here. Um, car's going around me uh, to the left. To the left, and I'm sorry, I thought I saw a car behind me, but that was just my dyslexia from looking at the screen. All right, we have a medium gap here, and it's clear from the right. Is it going to go? Yes, it went for it. All right, so now it can roll this one in the left lane easy. That was a good decision. Um, I like that one. That, that was well trained. Obviously, the gaps fit to where it didn't have to wait in the median. Uh, I need a little bit more practice waiting in the median with fast coming cars in the left lane. Uh, but that one didn't have any, but it chose the right gap on the left, which is exactly what I've been looking for. Um, nice job, Tesla. Let's try another one. All right. I have no idea what to expect this time. Each one is a new one for me. Uh, there's a wrecker. That would have been good to see if I'd have been out there. There's the stop, and let's go all the way up to the creep. All right, there's, okay, three little cars to wait, and then a wide open to the left, and it'll be wide open to the right again. So a nice, big, strong question mark. It's open in the left lane. If it wants to go for it, it stayed in the left lane. And uh, that car that was in the middle lane. So very good maneuverability, taking the closest available lane, even if oncoming traffic is coming. That'll save time. It's safe. Uh, some people debate that. Some people say, but what if that car in the middle lane had its blinker over and you jumped out in front? That is a very valid concern. Um, 
I, I personally think most humans make that judgment call based on what they see. Uh, it feels like perhaps Tesla's doing it at the moment too. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. And our creep. And let's see. Okay, a little bit of traffic from the left. Three cars at a big gap. And probably a car we're going to need to wait on from the right. So after this one, it's probably going to go. Ooh, hesitant on the go. Ooh, I wonder if it was waiting on that car. I think it was. I think it paused a second just so it could do a roller all the way through beyond this car. That's what it felt like anyway, because I, I expected the commit just a second earlier, but that little pause it had allowed it to do the roller without needing to fit it in the median so it, that car could go by. I, I'm hoping maybe, but that, if so, that was a great decision. Um, another good one. Let's try another one. All right, here's another one. Cybertruck, unprotected left turns. Ooh, a school bus. That would have been good on the traffic screen. All right, little creep, little creep, and we're waiting. Okay, there's, don't, okay, it can't make that gap. It's just gonna sit here, it doesn't even tap its brakes. So this is good. We have a lot of traffic coming from the left. The traffic signal to the right is red, and now it just turned green. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna be sitting here for another minute or so. Uh, it's dense traffic. Um, I, while we're sitting here waiting, I'm, I'm getting more and more confident. It's making the right gap choices. Where I need some more comfort and experience is the question mark maneuver and its accuracy on stopping at the line, even if there's traffic in the oncoming closest lane. That first one you saw a few minutes ago, it was, it was just with a, a big truck that just took away some of my margin for error. And I, and I just don't have the comfort yet uh, that it would have stopped. And I don't know, I can't wait to see that from the drone. It looked freaking close. Okay, so now I've got a Jeep over here. I'm sure that I'm probably blocking his view. Um, okay, there's a weird little medium gap here. It could go for it, but now it can't see to the right. Is it gonna go? Okay, okay it went for it. Question mark to the right. Is it gonna, it's gotta stop. Okay, Ugh, it took everything I had. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. Okay, closest to the left is open and it's waiting. It's waiting here. It's in the median really, really good, but now it's wide open and it's not going. What's it doing? Why is it waiting? I don't know. Okay. Well, that was almost a perfect one. I, it almost waited until traffic was coming. I was showing you my repeater here. Oh, that's so disappointing. I really thought that way it had it because it jumped out. It got a really good question mark. There was oncoming traffic and it was waiting. But then when the gap opened up, it didn't go. Okay. What do you guys think on that one? I'm gonna probably post that one just because there's some questions there. Let's try another one. Okay, here we go. We might be getting towards the end here. I hear a train. I wonder what the train's gonna look like in the screen. All right, there's a stop. Uh, let's see what the creep looks like. Okay, uh, okay, we're gonna be waiting here. And there's the train. Hey, the semis are trucking along. <laughs> it's a short train, so not very long. Um, okay, we're gonna be waiting here. This is almost like the last one. Uh, the lights to the uh, going red to the right, no gaps here at all. So it's just going to wait. And while it's waiting, what I what I don't want it to be doing is tapping the brakes, thinking about it. I just want it to be solid and wait. And it's doing that so far. I don't feel like I'm creeped out too far. I feel like I've got visibility, even if I lean my head all the way back by the B pillar. I've got it's creeped out far enough. Um, I mean, I'm out a ways. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, but I'm, I'm safe. You can see on, as these trucks go by, I have plenty of room. Okay, as the traffic starts to slow to the right, these cars are kind of eating up any of the gaps that might be created because they're slowing down. Okay, there's a, a small to medium gap coming here on the left, but I can't see to the right anymore, so it's going to have to do a question mark if it goes. And it's going. Okay, and where's it going to stop? Where's it gonna stop? Where's it gonna stop? Okay, it stopped. Oh gosh, don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, and I can't see very well. I'm looking at my cameras, but I'm using my eyeballs to, to see how it waits. So this is gonna be a good one to see if it uh, jumps right when this left lane is open in two more cars. There's one, there's the second one, go. Ugh. Okay, it, it's eating up its own time. Uh, to jump out into traffic. The left lane was open, 
but it, it's eating up its own time that, that could very quickly evaporate if, a, if, if an oncoming car is coming. So I, I kind of feel like it, it's never done this on the Model Y that I've noticed. This is a, a unique behavior to the Cybertruck that once it's clear, that weird pregnant pause, like it's unsure, or, or, and, and there's no cars in the, in the vicinity. So it's not like it, uh, I, I don't know what it's waiting on. Maybe it's got some sort of uh, training, training issue in there, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I, I, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Not necessarily because I, I couldn't get more use cases, but because I think I saw the use cases I needed uh, here today. Uh, it's doing a great question mark. It's making really good decisions on the traffic from the left that I saw so far. It doesn't have any nervous creeping out that's giving me any sort of indication of latency. Uh, the only issue I've got right now is it's such a big truck. Gosh, that right front corner feels like it's so close. We'll look at it from overhead and see how close it was. Uh, but then after it successfully waits in the median, the decision to commit to jump out in the traffic does not seem to be there uh, accurately um, based on if it waited or something like that. Uh, and, and that wait creates a situation um, that it loses opportunity. And if it waits too long, it ends up jumping out in front of a car that's rapidly uh, eating up its window. So anyway, what do you guys think? That's my first dedicated Cybertruck Unprotected Left Turns video. Hopefully you guys find this useful. Uh, leave comments below, help me uh, make them better. Uh, in any case, hopefully you enjoy it. Have a great day, everybody.